Hey everybody, it's Jonathan Teacher. Welcome back for another lesson, Past Perfect. When I arrived at the theater, I realized I had forgotten my wallet. She picked up the package the mail carrier had left on her porch earlier that morning. I went to the beach because our professor had canceled class. I had sent the email before she came to talk to me. The form of the past perfect is subject plus had plus past participle, verb three. We use the past perfect to sequence two events in the past to say which event occurred first. It's so important to understand why we use this grammar. We are mentioning two events in the past and the past perfect shows us and tells us which one happened first? Which one happened before the other event? And it doesn't matter what order these events are written because when you see the past perfect, you know that that is the action or event that occurred first. Grammar is time. In English, grammar tells you when something happened. In this case, with the past perfect, it tells you which event happened first. So let's look at the timeline. This is for the past. So first, our professor cancels class. Then I go to the beach. These two events occurred in the past, but I am in the present right now. I cannot go back in the past. I am in the present and I am discussing two things that happened in the past. So in order to signal to my audience which event occurred before the other, I use the past perfect. For example, I went to the beach because our professor had canceled class. This grammar here shows me that this happened first. So in English, you must change the verb to tell when something is happening. That's why grammar is time. Remember, the sequence of events is not determined by which one is written first. It's determined by the past perfect grammar. So I had sent the email before she came to talk to me. First, I send the email and then she comes to talk to me. Right now, in the present, I am discussing these two events that both happened in the past. And in order to show my listener which one occurred before the other, again, I use the past perfect grammar. I had sent the email before she came to talk to me, when I see the past perfect grammar, I know this action occurred first. I could change the order of the sentences. She came to talk to me before I had sent the email and it would not change the meaning or the sequence of events. So don't forget, you can invert the clauses with no change in meaning. Can you make a sentence with the past perfect? Write a past perfect sentence in the comments below and I will correct your sentence for you. Don't forget to check out the free class that accompanies this video lesson. 
please click subscribe so you can see all the free videos and I'll catch you guys in the next lesson.